Hey, 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 I'm Angie Rose with Angie Rose Health Coaching. How are you today? I hope you had a great weekend and I am here for your Monday mojo, a little Monday motivation. And just to kick off your week and kind of get you thinking about what you're thinking about. And that actually is the topic that I wanted to talk about today, which is called changing your thoughts, change your life. Okay, so I mean, here's the thing. The one thing that you actually do have control over, believe it or not, is your thoughts. Have you ever really stopped to think about what you're thinking about? Most of us don't. You know, studies actually show that there we have about 70,000 thoughts per day that are running wild all day long. Uh, some of them are completely on autopilot. Some of them are, are coming in as we are going on through with our day. But you know what? It's super important for us to be aware what we're thinking about because this actually creates self-talk. And self-talk creates what we believe and what we believe will actually steer the direction of our lives. So if you stopped and thought about your thoughts, I want to just say every day they play a role in your mindset, your productivity, and especially your self-image, right? So I know so many of us don't even think about that we're beating ourselves up, we're focusing on the negative, we're speaking negative to our body, about our body, about our food choices, about our lives over and over and over. If you think about what even a fraction of those thoughts really truly were out of 70,000 thoughts per day that run through our minds, that's a big deal, you guys. Think about this. This is something that just kind of popped in my head. Think about if you were going to a job every day or you had a parent that maybe this would you would relate to this, but what if most of the words coming out of your boss's mouth, your parents' mouths, your husband or significant other's mouth were consistently, at least a third of them were negative, beating you up, bashing you down, making you feel less than. At some point, you guys, you're probably going to quit that job. You're probably going to can't wait till you're 18 and you can move out of the house. Or even you might end up in divorce because you're not going to allow somebody else to talk to you and treat you that way, okay? But what we forget to think about is we are probably way worse and more hypercritical of ourselves than other people around us. And it's talking to us over and over and over. It's like background noise and it's like a tape playing inside your head that you, it just becomes normal for you, okay? And I can say that I understand this because I grew up um, being very negative. I was that negative person and would focus on the negative and bash everybody else about their negative to keep the focus off of me, but really it wasn't off of me because it was all going on up here, real to real to real, playing over and over and over again, okay? So I need you to think about that you're actually facing a barrage of messages all day long telling you you're not going to succeed, that you don't measure up, that you're not good enough, and on and on it goes. And I would love to tell you that I'm perfect about, I'm not, I'm not perfect, but I'd love to tell you that I'm perfect about how I talk to myself. I will tell you I am probably 80% better because I have made the point to be paying attention to what I think on, because what a man thinks on, so he becomes, and out of your heart flows those thoughts. So if you are carrying today past tapes, you, know, you young and CDs, um, MP3s, whatever that you are listening to over and over and over again on the inside of you, it's time to delete them. It's time to burn them, and it's time to let go of them. And I want you to start thinking about how you can reframe the way you're talking to yourself. Actually, today, I pray for you in the name of Jesus that God would just begin to show you what your thoughts are and how you feel about yourself and what you're actually thinking. Um, and then come back with something positive. 
you can say something as simple as, I don't believe that. The truth is dot, dot, dot. I, I know it sounds silly and it sounds like, you know, daily affirmations, which it is. You should be doing daily affirmations and talking to yourself about the things that you're saying and really focusing on the positive. So if you don't know what the positive would be, then think about the opposite of what you're telling yourself. If you were looking in the mirror and you're saying things like, I feel so fat today, what would the opposite be? Thank you, God, that I can move my body and that I am losing weight and getting healthier. Thank you, God, that my body is a gift that you've given me and I get to move and do the things that I do. It's actually worship to God. That may sound weird. I know I don't always talk about God on my Monday mojos, but I feel led today that somebody needs to hear that, that moving your body and talking to your body like the gift that it is, is actually good for you. And we worship God with our body and our everyday movement and our everyday talk and even an exercise. You know, it is a gift that God has given us. So in the words of Dr. Wayne Dyer, I want to make sure I give him his kudos. He said, change your thoughts, change your life. So here's a reminder. This is your reminder today. Start tuning in to what you're saying, what you're thinking, and to begin to replace them with something positive. I say them out loud because honestly, I'll catch myself sometimes and I'll be saying something I don't need to say. And I will say, stop it, Angie Rose. And that, I don't care if people hear me say that, but then I will tell myself the opposite. That's enough. Give yourself some grace. You're working on this, 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 and this, okay? Just wanna tell you your motivation and your mindset are gonna be give you a huge thank you when you start doing this. I want you to remember, sometimes we treat ourselves worse than other people treat us. We talk down to ourselves worse than other people talk to us. Stop doing that. You are the lover of your body and the lover of your life. And nobody's going to love it more than you besides Jesus, right? So I want you to learn to love you by paying attention to what's going on here, okay? So I hope you all have a blessed, blessed week. Um, if you struggle with this and this is something you need help with, this is actually a part of my program. You know, my health coaching, life coaching, depending upon what you need. But really being able to work on self-care, self-talk, self-worth, because just losing weight isn't going to change that. You have to work on those pieces as well. So if you're someone who is kind of stuck here, I would love to work with you. I do offer a one-hour free consultation. You can give us a call at the office today at 308 850-2419. Go to my website, angierosehealthcoaching.com and fill out a contact me form. I'll, we'll get back to you, set you up for a time. But, and I would love that. I would love that, not but. I would love that. But if you're not coming in to work with me, you can work on this part yourself. You really, truly can. I believe in you. All right. You have an amazing week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.